Hello everyone, hello everyone, hello everyone. We have this job. This is coming from a uh, local customer. And the customer is saying the laptop just went off after loading new windows. So the laptop is not turning on, it's not doing anything. Uh, this is a Dell. Dell, let me see. Dell Latitude E6420, that's the model of this laptop. Came in as no power. We are lucky the customer bring the charger. And on Dell is very easy. You can see the light. That means the charger is good. The charger is good. Volts. Check on the screen, 19.85 volts. So we have a working charger. The next step, we don't have battery, is to plug in the charger. And let's try to power on the laptop. The charger is plugged. Powering on. Don't tell me it's working. Huh? Don't tell me it's working. This is a working laptop. Okay. Okay, let's plug let's unplug the charger. Let's plug back the charger. Because the owner said this laptop is not working. On. You see, that is the problem of this laptop. Exactly what the owner said. He said sometimes it's coming on, sometimes it's not coming on. You can press this. You can see the charger is plugged. I'm pressing the power. I can hear the switch is clicking, but the laptop is just dead. Let's work with the power supply. Like usual, dealing with power supply is always good. I'll connect the power supply. It's taking 19 milliamps, 18 milliamps. Even when you press on the power on button, it's not doing anything. So sometimes it's turning on, sometimes it's not turning on. What do you think is the problem? Huh? Do you have a, a faulty switch? There can be a faulty switch. Uh, can be anything so i would say let's get inside and see what is the problem all screws are out let's take the back cover that's the back cover we do have many items here we have the processor we have the graphic chip and uh, what else do we have here we have the BIOS battery here. I'll take out the BIOS battery. What I want to do, I want to plug on this laptop without the BIOS battery plugged in. Because from this, we can conclude many things. And the laptop is on. Yeah, we, we, we took out the BIOS battery, but I can see from this current that this laptop is on. You can see? Let's unplug the power supply. 
let's plug back the BIOS battery. So what is the problem of this laptop? Why it is having like sometimes it's turning on, sometimes it's not turning on. Huh? What the story with this one? The bus battery plugged. You know, it's very hard to fix something which is working. Huh? Power supply plugged. And the laptop is now working. Huh? Let's see if the switch is responding. Maybe we have a forty switch on. So we need to reach this switch. Now it's not working. It's not working anymore. We need to reach this switch because it seems like we have a switch issue here. Hmm. Seems like we have a switch issue. And trust me, this laptop has got too many screws. It's not easy to reach where this switch is. This is not a motherboard fault. But this switch is, is, is doing... Some funny things with me. So I will say, let me take out all the screws and we take uh, a look on the switch button because this looks like it's a switch button problem. That's the motherboard for, for this laptop. Yeah, this laptop, trust me, has got too many screws. And uh, you hear the customer saying, that is just a faulty switch. Why are you charging too much? It's about time. How to reach there? So, we do have a switch here. And on the other side, we have a chip. This looks like a tricky job. Check here. Uh, where is this switch? You see this chip? You see this chip? Exactly on the other side. That's where you have a switch. This is the switch which is misbehaving. Huh? So how can you fix this? How we can fix this switch? How we can fix this? Yeah, the job looks easy, but it's not. 
Once this is a plastic switch, if you come with the heat from the top, it will melt the switch. If you come with the heat from the back, probably that chip will, will blow up and we have a completely dead motherboard. Hmm? So what do you need to do here? What what was are we supposed to do here? Huh? Let's see now. So how we can fix this? How we can fix this? That the switch we open inside the switch and. Uh, I can see the switch is very dirty. So all what you need to do is to clean this switch. That's all what you need to do. Cleaning the switch. Now, let's come with that uh, the lower part, which is connecting with, the, which is sending 3.3 volts to ground. That's the lower plate. Then the top part just like that. Hmm? Just like that. So what guarantee? What guarantee are we going to have that we now have a working switch? Huh? What guarantee are we going to have that this switch is now working? Was I avoided to come with it on this switch? Was on the other side we have a chip? So, if we have a switch on the other side, if we try to come with it, bad things can happen. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this can solve this problem. Huh? 
Let me put all together and uh, we'll test the laptop after. Uh, I just put all together and it's now time for testing. Huh? Let's test to see if this laptop is still misbehaving. Like it's coming on at its own time. Sometimes it's not coming on. Let's see. Try pass apply plug. It's taking 800, 100. This is because we reset the BIOS. So the laptop is coming on, turning on, coming on and goes off. And uh, you can see it's working. It's now taking 1.3 amps. Let's power the laptop. The laptop is off. You can see it's taking 18 milliamps. Standby currents power on the laptop on 23 milliamps. 1.1 and it's on. This is because we don't have battery there. So the BIOS will be trying to reload the settings. Okay. Let's check out the power supply. Let's test with the customer's charger. That's very important to test what the laptop is doing with the customer's charger. Charger plugged and the laptop is on. The EC chip is trying to detect the battery, but because the battery is missing, it's taking some time to reload the, the, the firmware from the BIOS chip. And the laptop is on, off the laptop. The laptop is now off. Let's turn on, on. You see this, L, the, this LED light. It's on. You can see the LED. And we have picture. So, if you see a laptop like random coming and it's not in Windows. In the, if you see something like that. The laptop is coming on. Sometimes it's, it goes off. Coming on, goes off. Yeah, the laptop is on. So this is how a fault switch looks like on a laptop or motherboard. And uh, you have to be very careful because on the bottom of the switch we have the, the, the controller, the driver. I don't know what the driver is doing because we didn't check the schematics and the lights. And uh, the, the switch is some kind of plastic. If you come with hot air from the top, you can't replace the switch. It will melt. If you come with water oil from the bottom, uh, obvious from the bottom, you need two high temperature and high pressure. And during that high temperature, the possibility of that chip to die is very high. The laptop is on. You can see the touchpad is working. The keyboard is working. This Windows is new. There's nothing inside, like what the owner said. So, I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Yeah. We are, we are, we are getting there bit by bit, bit by bit. We are getting there. But this, is, this was just a fault switch. I just wanted to show you how I'm dealing with the fault switch on a laptop motherboard, especially this kind of switch when it's tricky to replace with what air. So, see you on the next one. Bye.